Good morning, everyone. This morning, I would like to share with you the application of second order differentiation equation in electrical circuit. Now, let's look at the one of the example the, in the RLC circuit in this figure. Okay, in this figure, in this circuit, we have the, the source is the ET and the inductor 1 milli hash R resistor. 5 milli ohm and the C is 250 farad. So now the question is show that the circuit can be modeled as this. So you need to uh, prove that the circuit can be represent or can be modeled by this equation okay. by using KVL. So by using KVL, you know that you have the source, you have the source, you have the inductor, you have the resistor and you have the capacitor. So you need to find out what is the voltage, across, voltage drop across those components. So now you have the VL and plus with the resistor, so VR, and plus with the DC capacitor, voltage drop across the capacitor, equal to the ET, the source. L, okay, but, uh, the voltage drop across the inductor is VL. So L, you can, uh, L, DI over DD, you can convert into this one. Plus VR is IR. Plus VC is 1 over C. Integration of IET equal to ET. So all this voltage drop across the component, you can find it in uh, page 31 in your module. Now you have to differentiate. So you differentiate with respect to T. Okay, how to differentiate with respect to T? So now you have the L, so D square I, D T square plus R di over dt and then you have the 1 over c differentiation and still you have the integration okay and then differentiate over d et okay you can simplify it so this one and this one differentiation and integration actually you can cancel out so now you obtain l L d square i over dt square plus r dr over dt plus i over c. You have the i here and the c here equal to e prime t. So let's check the answer here and here. Is it the same? Yes, if it is the same, then you have proof this equation. Okay, now, the second question, given the x et equal to negative 0 0.01 as on negative t, and solve the differential equation for the initial condition when t equals 0, i equals 0, and di over dt equal to 0. So you need to solve the equation. So actually, you have the ET. ET equal to negative 0 0.01 as 1 negative D. And then you need to find what is the differentiation of ET. Since you have the, you need to find this one, the exponent, the exponent T, first order. So you differentiate, what's your pen? negative 
negative 1, 0 0.01 1 as 1 negative d equal to 0 0.01 1 as 1 negative d. Okay, now you have the, the differentiation of e t, then you can substitute in the equation that you find just now from here. This one. Okay, also you substitute the value of L, R, and C into the equation. So the L is uh, 0 0.001 plus V of R, R is 0 0.005. And uh, C equal to 0 0.01. Okay. This is the one from the differentiation. Okay, so since this one is not in a linear, so you have to divide 0 0.01. So when you divide by 0 0.01, so you obtain this one. Just left the d d square over d square i over dt square. This one you have 5 plus 4i equal to 10 as 1 negative t. So 0 0.01, you divide by 0 0.001 you have 10, 10. So by using method of uh, undetermined coefficient, the first step is to find IC. So how to find IC? Okay, based on, from here, from this equation, you know that that is uh, i squared plus 5 i prime plus 4 i equal to 0. So when you convert to the m, is m squared m squared plus 5m plus 4 equal to 0. So when you factorize it, you obtain m plus 1, m plus 4. So you factorize. Factorize the m squared plus 5m plus 4. So you obtain m plus 1, m plus 4. So now your m is equal to minus 1. Okay, m plus 1 equal to 0, so m equal to minus 1, m equal to minus 4. So this is which case you can refer to page 44. You can refer to page 44, the case. Okay, m minus 1, minus 4, so this is a different and real root. You can refer to case number 2, case number 2. Oh, sorry. Uh, case number one. Case number one. So it is uh, is y or i c equal to a s one negative four t plus b s one negative t. Next, we find for particular integral. So, find for it. d square i over dt square plus 5. Plus 4i equal to 10 as 1 negative t. 
So since the function of fx equal to 10 as for negative t, so it's cas exponent. This one is a cas exponent in page 47. IP equal to C E negative X negative T. So is it IP when you compare with IC? Is it IP same with the IC? If you compare with the IC, compare the pattern. Okay, this is the IC. This is the IC. And this is your IP. Is it the same pattern? Okay, this one. CE as for negative T and BE as for negative T seems like the same. So IP same with IC. It's not allowed. Therefore, you have to multiply with T. So IP equal to CT as for negative T. So now check again. Is it the IP same with the IC? You have CT. No, no more, no more t same. So this is not the same. When when it's not the same, that is your latest IP value. Next, you have to find for the IP prime and IP double prime. So IP prime. How to find the IP prime? You have the you have the IP. This is the IP. So you you have the T. How many T here? It's two T. So this you can use the product rule. You have the U and V. You use the product rule. Uh, U V prime plus V U prime. Okay. So your U is U is C T. U prime is C. Your V is S for negative T. Your U V U prime and V prime equal to negative S for negative T. So you just substitute in U V prime. U is C T. V is uh, a V prime. V prime is a negative exponent negative t plus uh, v is s1 negative t uh, and u prime is c okay so after this you just summarize it This is your IP prime, and then you go to the IP double prime. Same method, same method. Okay, so I straight away I write down the answer for the IP double prime. So you will obtain negative 2 C as one negative T plus C T E minus T. Okay, so now you will find out the IP prime and IP double prime. Okay, and then next, next, you can substitute in the IP. Okay, let's go to the question here, okay. You have the okay IP okay IP double prime. From here, you know that this is a uh, IP double prime plus five IP prime plus four IP equal to ten as per negative t. So now. 
Now, you have to substitute in everything here. Okay, so IP double prime is negative 2, C as 1 negative D, plus C, D, E negative D. And then plus with the 5 IP. Equal to 10, S1 negative T. Okay, you can simplify it. So when you have you rewrite again, plus five C S one negative D, negative five C D S one negative D, plus four C D S one negative D equal to 10 as 1 negative t. So you have the... Okay, you check again. So you have this one. Negative 2 CE. CE as 1 t. So which one have the CE as 1 t? So this one also has CE as 1 t. Okay, no more. So now you have uh, if you have to compare left side, right, left hand side and right hand side. Okay. What about CT? If you have CT, is this one. CT as one ET, and this one is a negative 5 CT. This one also CT exponent. Okay. Now we compare the exponent negative T. Which one have exponent negative T? This one, this one. Negative 2 plus 5, you have positive. You have positive C as 1 negative D equal to 10 as 1 negative D. Then you compare. You compare with the exponent. You compare exponent negative D. So you have 3C equal to 10. C equal to 10 over 3. Now your IP equal to 10 over 3 T as 1 negative T. Why I said the IP equal to 10? 10 over 3 is you obtain from the C. Okay, let's go to the letters IP. Okay, your letters IP is C, T, S1, negative T. So, your IP is, sorry, your IP is C, T, S1, negative T. So, you just substitute the value of C with 10 power of 10, power, 10 over 3. That's why you obtain IP equal to 10 over 3, T, E, minus T. Next, uh, you have to find this general solution. Okay, general solution. Your general solution is I equal to IC plus IP. Your IC is uh, A E negative 4 T plus uh, B S1 negative D. So this IC actually is from the first step you find it. This is your IC. It is your IC value. And then your IP, okay? Your IP, this is your IP. So it's plus with 10 over 3 T E minus T. Okay? So is it the final? Is it the final step? Yes, because uh, you already find the general solution. But don't forget, you, the question given the initial condition. Initial condition. 
So you need to substitute the initial condition to find the A and B. So this is uh, when I equals 0, T equals 0. And when T equals 0, I equals 0, sorry. So for I, you have to find for the I first. So when T equals 0, I equals 0. Is, uh, you substitute in the I here. So you have the 0 here. A exponent root 0 plus B exponent T also 0 plus 10 over 3. 0 exponent 0. So this is 0. Now 0 plus a plus b. Exponent 0 is 1. So a equal to negative b. So this is your first equation. And then you need to find the i prime. So i prime you obtain from the i here. From the i here. Okay. You differentiate. Differentiate with respect to the i here. So you obtain negative 4 a exponent negative 4t minus uh, b exponent negative t. Uh, this one is minus 10 over 3 t e minus t plus s1 negative t 10 over 3. This one you must do it in terms of u and t. Okay. Like just now I told you, if u equal to 10 power of 3 t, then u prime is 10 over 3. Then v is uh, as for negative t, v prime is negative as for negative t. Then you substitute the formula u v prime plus v u prime, you will obtain this answer. Okay? Alright, so now you still need to substitute the initial condition for the first order. You still remember the initial condition is this one. So this means that di over dt equals 0 when t equals 0. So 0 equal to negative 4a exponent 0 minus b as 1 0 okay you pass on this one and then uh, minus 0 because of the t here and then plus 10 over 3 as 1 and 0 so this is equal to negative 4a minus b plus 10 over 3 now you have the equation 4a plus b equal to 10 over 3 and this is the second equation now you have the value of a equal to negative b you have the a equal to negative b so you just substitute in o negative b plus b and then uh, minus 4b plus b so you have minus 3b and then equal to 10 over 3, then your b should be negative 10 over 9. So you obtain the b is negative 10 over 9, and then your a value, and your a value is uh, negative b equal to 10 over 9. So the final answer is it equal to, you substitute the value of a, so 10 over 9, and then your b is negative 10 over 9, that's for negative t, plus with 10 power of 3, t exponent negative t. So this is your final answer. Okay, thank you for watching.